Dominique and me running from that halla. Episode 201 literally starts off running. We're on location, we're in the snow, we're running, we're freaking just trying to get out of there. And the day we're running, it's literally like this guy who can barely run, who can't see anything, and then it's there, and he's running, and he's like, ah. and we're like, ah, we're super scared, and we're like, oh my god, it's so hot, ah, run! My hat! He's eating my hat! I knew I wanted episode one to be just a blistering ride. There's a real kind of special alchemy reminding everybody who the players are, where they are on the chessboard, what their relationship is to each other, and what we're going to put them through this season. But at the same time, it has to feel like a reboot, so to speak, so that you could just land in episode 201 of Winona Earp and be like, this show is crazy, I'm totally in. Real slow, or I call the cops. Also, I am the cops. Everything had just happened with Willa losing Doll. And so Winona is very much a woman on a mission. Dolls is battling the emotions of falling in love with Winona, but also breaking all the Black Badge Division rules and being in trouble with the superiors. Just a lot going on. At that point in time, Dolls is at a crossroad, essentially, with the situation when it comes down to Winona Earp and all of her friends. Without him, Winona is lost. And emotionally, she's trying to ignore the fact that she's just killed her sister. She has a job to do and, and, and it's just, it's bleak. You can pry Peacemaker from my cold, dead hands. She's also very aware of her limitations and I think there's a bit of bravado where she's like, I'm Winona Earp. I'm Winona. Winona Earp. We knew that casting Eliza was going to be critical. So I reached out to a few people, and one of which was Rachel Scarston. I said to her, do you want to come to Calgary the week before Christmas and fight Melanie Scrofano in your underwear? Having Rachel there was so awesome. And I also think it was such an interesting choice and smart, smart choice for Emily to bring her in. My. There's lots more where that came from, Tex. I'm from Georgia, man. Because the fans are gonna expect a huge character and a huge actress like that. And she's the first one who gets clipped. And I think that's awesome shock factor. I feel like season one went like this, and then we just continue on that same, with the same momentum, which is awesome. No one's getting devoured. At least not today. One of the biggest gifts that Emily gave me was the fact I can use my own accent. Choose. Don't forget to choose. And it's kind of like a nice shout out to the fans because they were like, what, this is crazy, as if you're actually British. Hello. But one was just so special because I was just so happy to be back. Just being at the read through and seeing everybody and hearing the voices for the first time ever again, it's such a special feeling. It's just like the best feeling ever. You're like, yes, we're at home. <laughs>